The mystery of consciousness is a complex question that has intrigued scientists and thinkers for centuries. Consciousness refers to the state of being aware of and able to think about one's own existence and the surroundings. But surprisingly, researchers are still struggling to find the answers of questions like what is the origin of consciousness and why we have it. According to a group of scientists in Canada and France, consciousness appears to arise naturally as a result of a brain maximizing its information content. Just like the universe, our brains might be programmed to maximize disorder, similar to the principle of entropy, and our consciousness could simply be a side effect, the paper suggests. But first we need to understand what actually the entropy is. Entropy basically tells about the randomness of a system. As the system moves from order to disorder, its entropy increases. For example, if you break and scramble an egg, its entropy increases as it moves from ordered to disordered state. According to the second law of thermodynamics, entropy of a system always increases. Our universe as a whole is also a system. Therefore, its entropy has been increasing since the Big Bang, as the universe is moving from the ordered to disordered state continuously. Since we are the part of the universe, some scientists believe the consciousness might follow same rules of the universe. To solve this mystery, researchers studied the electrical activities in people's brains. As a result of their studies, they found that brain's electrical activities vary according to individual's conscious state. They also reached to the interesting conclusion that maximum values of brain's entropy is linked to the normal waking states. Perez Velazquez and his collaborators argue that consciousness might be an emergent property of the brain. It is characterized by the system's tendency to maximize information exchange and consequently entropy. This tendency is suggested to enhance the survival prospects of the brain's host by facilitating a more effective modeling of their environment. To conduct this interesting study, a team from the University of Toronto and Paris Descartes University selected nine people. Out of these nine people, seven were the patients of epilepsy. To model the network of neurons, team of researchers used a type of probability theory called statistical mechanics. More precisely, their focus was on examining neural synchronization, assessing whether neurons were oscillating in phase with each other. They were interested in determining the degree of connectivity among the brain cells. In this study, they looked at two different data sets. In the first data set, they compared the neural activity patterns of the nine participants when they were asleep and when they were awake. In the second data set, they analyzed only the epileptic patients. They looked at the difference in neural activity patterns when five of the epileptic patients were having seizures and when their brains were in a normal alert state. Surprisingly, researchers observed the same trend in both the cases. In fully conscious state, the participants' brains showed higher entropy. We find a surprisingly simple result. Normal wakeful states are characterized by the greatest number of possible configurations of interactions between brain networks, representing highest entropy values, the team wrote. This led the researchers to argue that consciousness could simply be an emergent property of a system that is trying to maximize information exchange. Thanks for watching.